Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So the question of the day is, why do I keep falling for the jerk over and over again? Stay tuned. Alright family, thank you so much for coming back. So, y'all know that I'm kind of blunt and in your face and I can't help it because I must tell you the truth when you come here to I Love Me 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 because I'm supplying you guys with the tips and tools in order to have healthy, happy, romantic relationships so we can decrease that divorce rate. Now, without further ado, I have four tips for you on why you keep falling for the jerk over and over again. The very first tip is because maybe you have some self-esteem issues. Now let's just be blunt and open and put that out there. You have some self-esteem issues and you have not dealt with your self-esteem issues and subconsciously this is what this is the guy or the type of guy that you absolutely think that you need and deserve because maybe this is what because maybe this is how your dad was maybe this is how your stepdad was maybe this is how the man in your mom's life treated her and so you think that this is the best way for the guy to show love to you it's not though so you got to deal with those self-esteem issues. You got to deal with the mind. You got to deal with knowing that you are enough. You have to deal with knowing that this is not the right behavior that he should be displaying to you as the man, as the leader, as, as the person that you are supposed to follow as the woman. How is he going to be the head of the household when the child gets there? So now you are showing your child that this behavior is okay. It's not that's not healthy the second thing is because you yes you my sister are not working on yourself you are not learning about who you are you are not learning about what you want you are not learning about what you need and desire from a man as well as from yourself in the relationship so here comes the jerk you think that it's okay because you have not worked on you to understand the proper way that a guy is supposed to pro approach you so you don't understand the proper way that the guy is supposed to approach you and treat you calling you stupid and silly to your face or behind your back is is very disrespectful but especially when people are there in front of you where you're literally cussing and fussing at each other literally calling each other names as if that's cute it's not though it's not. This is not the proper way to be treated as a woman, to be treated as the queen that you should be treated as, to be treated with the respect that you deserve. But you, my sister, are not demanding the respect. Now, does that mean that you have to come out and say, I demand respect. You will not talk to me like that. Absolutely not. But as soon as it happened, you nip that in the bud. You let him get it off his tongue and then you correct that behavior because as soon as you let that slip, he gonna think it's okay to do. And it's because you have not demanded the respect that you deserve, which is why this jerk keeps coming back around. He got on different clothes, he driving a different car, he got a different face, but everything he do is the same sucker that you keep dating. You have to work on you. You have to know who you are. So when this jerk comes back around, you don't pay him no attention. You don't give him no time of day. Because you know you. You love you. And if you don't love you first, why would the jerk love you? Number three, my sister. This is the person that you subconsciously believe that you deserve. Which is why you keep putting this energy out there to the universe to say, I deserve a jerk. I deserve a jerk. I deserve a jerk. I deserve a jerk. Even though you out of these lips, this tongue, you saying, I don't deserve no jerk. I don't know why I keep getting all the jerks. It's because that's the energy you could put you keep putting out there. You keep focusing on why you keep getting jerks. So this is why you, you are bringing more jerks to you. But it definitely leads back to you not knowing you. So here come the jerk. The fourth one I kind of already mentioned, but I want to make sure that you know that this is a point, which is you are not having the insight to see that this is the same person with a different face. The insight to learn from some of your previous mistakes with the other jerks. 
and the insight to see what's really right for you. And in this case, who's really right for you. So you don't have the insight to see that. Again, because you have yet to work on yourself. You have yet to understand you. And so you cannot think that somebody else is going to understand you better than you. Because maybe you can't even verbalize it because you have not worked on you. You don't know what you want. You don't know what you need. And you don't know how to be treated. Sometimes we just have to take a step back from it all and say, you know what? I have to love me first before I get into another relationship. And maybe you need to take some months off. Maybe you need to take a year or two off from dating so you could know you, you could love you, all of you, flaws and all, all of the bad stuff that happened to your life, all of the good stuff that happened in your life. Celebrate your accomplishments. Celebrate you. Celebrate everything that has happened to you because anything that has happened to each and every one of us happened to us for a reason. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it was a bad reason or you're being punished by God because of this. Could it be? Of course it could be, but it doesn't have to be that. You have to understand what you want, what you need, what you desire, and what you deserve so until you know that you do not deserve the jerk, the jerk will show up with a different face doing the exact same thing that the other four or five jerks did previously. So my sister, you must get you together first before you enter into another relationship, letting all of this energy of the jerks find you. Now, family, thank you so much for coming back and definitely give me thumbs up if you like this video. Of course, hit that red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me, 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 I am helping you guys to take in the knowledge and not just have the knowledge. I want you to apply the knowledge to your life. So take these tips in and apply it to your life, especially if you are in this situation. I will see you again tomorrow. Deuces.